chestnut castanea dentata distinguishing characters the bark in young trees is smooth and of a marked reddish bronze color but when the tree grows older the bark breaks up into diamond shaped ridges sufficiently characteristic to distinguish the tree at a glance a close examination of the terminal twig will show three ridges and two grooves running down along the stem from the base of each leaf or leaf scar the twig has no true terminal bud the fruit a large round burr prickly without and hairy within and enclosing the familiar dark brown sweet edible nuts is also a distinguishing mark of the tree leaf the leaves are distinctly long and narrow they are from six to eight inches long form and size the chestnut is a large tree with a massive trunk and a broad spreading crown the chestnut tree when cut sprouts readily from the stump and therefore in places where trees have once been cut a group of two to six trees may be seen emerging from the old stump range eastern united states soil and location it will grow on rocky as well as on fertile soils and requires plenty of light enemies during the past nine years nearly all the chestnut trees in the united states have been attacked by a fungus disease diaporthe parasitica Muir, which still threatens the entire extinction of the chestnut trees in this country no remedy has been discovered and all affected trees should be cut down and the wood utilized before it decays and becomes worthless no species of chestnut tree is entirely immune from this disease though some species are highly resistant value for planting the chestnut is one of the most rapidly growing hardwood trees but on account of its disease which is now prevalent everywhere it is not wise to plant chestnut trees for the present commercial value the wood is light not very strong and liable to warp it is durable when brought in contact with the soil and is therefore used for railroad ties fence posts poles and mine timbers it is also valuable for interior finish in houses and for fuel its bark is used in the manufacture of tanning extracts and the nuts are sold in cities in large quantities 